It takes priesthood for you to enter into the revelation of whom you are supposed to be. No matter the book. If you read Brian Tracy, read, tell me 17 books I need to read so that I can discover myself. I want to discover myself, brother. Tell me 17 books I need to read. Bro, go and pray first. What you will discover at best is a miniature of who you will be. Hmm? The weakest part of you is the one that you will discover. The one that can't stand a demon in the night. The one that can't stand it. The one that can't resist sin. You will use book and knowledge, fill your head. When a woman pass like this, you fall like a babu. You will just with all the knowledge that professors have. Why are they following small girls here in campus? 60 something year old men, professors, several degrees, they are following, they can't control themselves with their knowledge. It means they are actually weak and babies. Small girls, 22 years, 21 years, they will come and rub your hair and say, Prof, Prof, small girl. <laughs> I want to ask, is that man an elder? <laughs> He's a babe. A 70 year old child. Are you seeing it? If you like, don't give yourself to priesthood. Huh? You can make money and squander it. You can make it and certain we collect it like, like heavily. I've told you people's story here of a businessman that is in Lagos. When he started doing well, one day Satan had, they had a meeting, not Satan, a group of occultic people had a meeting. The guy saw himself in the vision where he was unlocking his business some things. A group of people gathered. They were like four men. Beat him, collected the key. I hope you know that key is what you use for business. Collected the key from him. Went to the top of a building. And hung it there. The guy can't climb there. That's how his business started going down. He applied all the strategy he know he knows. The things that should work is not working. My friend, come, let's pray together. Stop, stop looking for business contacts. What you need is a contact of seven angels. <laughs> Are you seeing it? That's why. If you see business as ministry, if you see business as your destiny, some people see they, I want as I said, I don't want to suffer in this world, I want to make money. I don't you can't get me to pray for you, you can't even get me to pray with you because such person doesn't know the reason why he's looking for what he's looking. Get it, they waste it everywhere. But once somebody you can't even know that why you don't know why until you enter priesthood if a man has known why exactly not just that he read books that kind of man is already involved in priesthood and you know what god will do he will make sure you got everything you got by priesthood and if you got it by priesthood you sustain it by what that kind of person will first become something become someone become a kind of a man whether you are standing on the pulpit or you are standing as a president, Elijah in the government house, he still what? He can still call down what? Look at a man that is called David. Sometimes I'm confused. Is David a king? Is David a prophet? Is he a priest? He sees himself in the temple. He collect bread, do whatever. There was a time there was no priest. He collected the effort. Say, what sayest thou, O God? A king, he knows how to trace God. Even when voices are dry in the land, that man can hear God. Everywhere has gone silent. But David can hear God. You will notice that. Uh, come and tell, let you people be praying. We, we, are, we are politicians, we are business. We don't be praying for us. Come and carry me now. Once I hear that thing from, even if I wanted to pray before, I will, I will not. I will not try it. If I do it, God will not be happy with me. Because that is the exact thing that was wrong with the wrong last generation. 
that's the exact thing we have practiced and we have not been able to raise. We are sending civilians to the war front. Pastors we go become our courtes before they are coming back. Why? We have not fully taught the people the priesthood of, of all believers. They went there without an altar. I want to teach, I'm trying to introduce the altar to you. It is not if there is a priest, there is an altar. If there is an altar, there is a priest. You cannot take away an altar from it. If you don't have an altar, say priest, what are you? What are you? We don't know you. You are amorphous. You are without shape. It is your altar that gives you shape. You can, you can know what kind of man somebody is by the shape of his altar. You can trace. Brother, let me teach you something now. Know it and never forget it. Don't use manifestation to know the weight of a man. Use his altar. No matter what you do, I'm not moved. But if I see the weight of your altar, I, I honor you. Because it's altar that determines the weight of men. So, so don't, don't come and, it's altar. When there is something you see a man doing, the way his altar is shaped, the structure, the weight. Hmm. Hmm. Such a man is not a normal man. That is really the strength of a man. God can't do anything. He only invades through the altars, including Satan. That's the way they operate. Are you getting the point now? So, you see, the higher you receive favor before God as a result of your ministry upon the altar, the more your altar increases in stature. How does God increase the stature of your altar? Are you getting the point? He brings a lot of auxiliary ministries around your altar, causing several other ranking beings, men or not, to become participants of the project that is going on on your altar suddenly you will notice that what is happening in your altar have the ability to affect many more people than you think when you pray huh? when I stand and pray 100 million people will start praying they will not know why they are moved to pray are you getting the point <laughs> can you bear what I want to tell you now Go for that. Go for that. Because if you get to that place, you are like, you are like that lamp in the book of Zechariah. Huh? The destiny of a whole territory depends on the burning of that lamp. It is with that lamp that the whole land is seen. Anything happens to that land, if oil dries up, you will notice that several people will start dropping in their hunger stop dropping in there they don't even know that they are being lit up by what is happening in another man's life the whole of heaven will insist that your hunger remains constant huh? that's why you need to cry make me ever consider the reason i want to teach you this is the day you stop your family will go down it is by you that your family is seen The day you find out this, oh, you will keep praying because your fourth generation is hoping that you meet up with your quota. Your fourth generation, they are yet unborn. They are hoping that you will meet up with your quota. There is a way you journey, you journey in the spirit. You see things. I've seen it. I've seen my son. I've seen him five years. I've seen him 11 years. I have seen him I've seen him do what I'm doing. I've seen him. Many of you will be alive and see it. How do you journey there? Priesthood. Priesthood. That's how you immortalize things. The scripture said, I know Abraham, my son, that he will teach his children to do these things so that I will keep what I said. How many children did Abraham have? How many? One. Why is God not saying children? Who is children? <laughs> Abraham had one child and God said I know Abraham he will teach his children who are these children the one million two million people in the wilderness are the children of Abraham even we this day that followed him by faith are his children so how did Abraham ensure that he will be part of what we are doing 
altars altars he littered altars everywhere so that even when Jacob wanted to escape one day he, he crossed the river he was going he said let me sleep when he laid his head, his head upon a stone suddenly the heaven opened that was the stone that his grandfather laid down and said if my son is escaping Lord put this thing as a stumbling block <laughs> on the ski rush Jesus said, Listen, are you married? If you have altars everywhere, your don't worry, sit down. Your child can't wake up and misbehave. Oh. You have heard me say it every day. When I was in DMGS, by the time I became a senior, by 7 p.m., some of my classmates, some of you that have lived around on each other, know how you know on each other. Down that new market road is there is Marcus, there is Abacoba, there is Frontline, there is there are many. Where is water? There are many. Are you hearing what I'm saying? By seven boys are leaving. I don't know the hand that held me there. If I have left, if I have left and touched a woman, I can't be in my calling. There are some callings you can't carry if you don't preserve your vessel. Petas. There is a power that holds a man. That's why if you're a woman, you have to know how to hold your children. It doesn't matter if you go to Canada and everybody is joining LGBTQ. There is a fire burning in you. Oh, UK can't collect your fire. So after me, Lord, take me to thee. <laughs> 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 